Hi, this is Walt Bayless, and this video is about getting off the couch and getting that idea of yours into reality. Now, if you already have a business, you've already launched a product, you've got a product there that I could go and buy right now, this video is not for you. We have plenty of videos where we talk about uh, growing that business and marketing and, and getting more audiences. This is for you, the person with the great idea and you know that you should be doing something about it and you need to get that side hustle going so that you can move forward with it. It's an insult. It's an insult if you are not doing all you can and being all you can be. When a tree is growing, it never gets halfway and goes, that's enough. I'm big enough. I'm strong enough. No, a tree never stops. It keeps pushing as hard as it can. Be the best you can be. Never settle for, for anything less than that because you deserve the opportunity to be all you can be. Subscribe, hit the button, and also hit the bell to make sure you get any new updates and any new videos. We look forward to seeing you on the next one. Now, we all have that idea that something that floats around in your head, something that you think to yourself, do you know what would be great? It would be great if fill in the blanks, whatever it is. It might be a product that you've been thinking of. It might be something simple. It might be something complex. But the idea that you've got right now needs to get out of your head and into the marketplace to see if it's valid. And this is where the side hustle comes in. Don't tell me you don't have time. If you had a flight this morning and you needed to get up an hour earlier, could you? All right. If somebody that you cared about was coming in at the airport and their flight was arriving late, could you have stayed up late last night and gone and got them? Of course you could have. Don't tell me you don't have time. Let's start the side hustle. Now, what I'm going to talk about is the fast way to get that idea out of your head and into the marketplace. So this is for you, the entrepreneurs, the entrepreneurs who want to get there, all right? Maybe you're working a job and, and typically that's the person I'm talking to, but you've got that idea. Let's talk about this side hustle. Step one, get it out of your head and on paper. Now that might be digital. Type it out. What is the specifics of your idea? This is how it works. This is what it's going to do. This is how, it, how it'll work. And this is who will buy it. These are my customers. Get everything you can down on paper, okay? Step one. Step two, let's test if it's got some sort of validity. Now, what I'm gonna talk about is called the fly paper technique. It's about putting something up there and seeing if it sticks. Now, I am going to suggest using social media and immediately that I do that, you're gonna say, but I don't want my boss to find out that I'm starting this side hustle. Okay, I understand. What I'm going to suggest you do is create a second account on some of the social media platforms in a different name just to test the idea. Now, please understand me. I'm all about authenticity, but you need to test this idea and you can't let your boss find out. So follow these instructions carefully. So get an account with uh, Hotmail or Yahoo or Gmail, or whatever it might be. Get another, another account. It can be whatever at whatever.email.com, all right? Any email address. Go and get a Twitter and a Facebook account with that new email address and give it a different name. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put up a, a probably not a video because your boss might see it, but the chances of them finding some random account on Twitter or some random account on Facebook is very slim. However, you want to protect your identity, do it on a PowerPoint, do it somehow. Get a video up there or get at least a, a, a blurb about what your idea is. This is what I'm thinking. Da -da -da -da. Now, once you've got your idea up onto these social platforms, I want you to spend $100 on advertising and get people to comment if they're interested. How does it work? Let's say, for example, you've got an idea about a book that you want to put out, okay? That's your idea. It might be a product, a book, a skincare cream, or whatever it is that your idea is, okay? Put up a, a post. This is what the skincare cream does, or this is what the book is all about. This is what my product does. Ah, da, 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 da. Now, I want you to, to put on the bottom of that, Please comment below if you're interested and I'll send you our first copies. Spend $100 on advertising. Send some ads to that post. Now, you, um, sponsor the post, however you want it to do. Pick your audience, who are your buyers? So find out what demographic, how old are they, all that kind of stuff. Send out $100 worth of ads. All you're looking for is engagement. Are you interested? Now, if $100 worth of ads gets you some engagement and it doesn't need to be a lot, you know your idea has validity, is valid. People respond to it, okay? So, first step, get it out of your head. Second step, um, make sure it's valid. Make sure people respond to it. And the only way you can do that is to get people to see it, not your friends and family, because they love you and they'll tell you whatever you want to hear. So, strangers, is the marketplace ready for your idea? Ask people in the comments. Let me know if you'd be interested. 
Get three or four comments, now you've got a starter. Step three, find out how much it's going to cost to get your idea produced even into an infancy stage. How do you do that? Go on to places like Odesk, um, freelancer.com, and hundreds of other uh, freelance sites that are out there, and literally put your idea up and say, this is my idea, can people start to quote me? Okay, now you're going to get a range of prices. You're gonna get people that come in cheap, you're gonna get people that come in expensive. Pick the middle and decide if you can afford that sort of money. Now, what if you can't? What if your idea is gonna cost $10,000 to get to the market and you haven't got $10,000? That's where crowdsourcing comes into play. Get onto Kickstarter, Indiegogo, some of the sites that are out there. You've already made sure that your idea is valid. Now what you need to do is get it up onto those sites, talk about it in detail, and ask people to support the development. What are you gonna give them in return? An early release to the product, maybe some extra bonuses, get them a t-shirt, whatever it might be. Get people to fund your creation. That's what those crowdsourcing sites are for, all right? So get it onto the crowdsourcing sites if you haven't got the money. So. Step three, find out how much it's gonna to cost to get this product to market. Is that a cost you can bear? Yes, no. If yes, get into it. If no, get some funding behind you. Go and wash cars, go and clean out the garage and get the money so that you can make it happen. Put things on eBay, sell whatever you need to do. If your idea is valid, let's make it happen, all right? And step four, once you've got a, uh, a pre-release, an infancy version, start to network with people who are in connected spaces, all right? So example, if you've created a new skincare cream, uh, let's go out and find some local suppliers who are in, uh, I don't know, um, bath salts, okay? And that's a good connected marketplace. So step four is get it, uh, get start the network, start people knowing that this new product is coming and build the relationships. And step five, of course, put it up for sale. Even as a side hustle, even as something that you're doing while you're still working your job, you can be making sales online um, quickly without needing to be involved. Work late, work early, get it done. My point being, you've been sitting on this idea for long enough and I hope this video is the one that gets you into action. Watch it again, take note of the four or five points and get it out of your head. Your family deserves for you to get this into the marketplace. We need to see it from you. So. Get off the couch, get into it. And don't forget to subscribe to this video and make sure you click the little bell as well so we can let you know of any new videos coming through that also might help you kick the goals that you're looking for. See you on the next one.